I've got an awesome story to share with you today that will totally change your perspective on life. So once upon a time, there was a crow who just couldn't catch a break. This crow was feeling down and unhappy because of its black feathers. Now one day, a wise monk spotted the sorrowful crow shedding some tears. The monk, being the curious soul that he was, approached the crow and asked, Hey there, why the long face? And you won't believe what the crow replied. The crow said, What else is there to do but cry? Life as a black crow is just plain tough. Nobody likes black. Nobody likes me. No one even considers having a crow as a pet. Can you imagine that? I spend most of my time rubbaging through garbage cans. I mean, come on. Why did God make me a crow? I despise my life. Now the monk, being the compassionate soul he was, couldn't bear to see the crow so miserable. So he proposed a deal. Listen up, my feathered friend, said the monk. If you could choose to be anything else, what would it be? And you know what the crow wished for? A swan. Oh, the elegance and beauty of a white swan, the symbol of peace. The monk agreed to grant the crow's wish, but with one condition. He wanted the crow to meet a real swan before the transformation. Off went the crow, excited and eager to meet the stunning swan. When the crow finally encountered the swan, he couldn't help but gush with admiration. Wow, my brother, what an extraordinary color you have. You look absolutely amazing. You must be the happiest creature alive. The swan, however, had a surprise response. Happiness? Who says I'm happy? The crow was taken aback. Wait, you're not happy? But look at you, you're magnificent. The swan sighed and explained, You see, my feather friend, looks can be deceiving. Just because I'm white doesn't mean I'm content. In fact, this color brings its own set of troubles. People associate white with death and sadness. They even use it on coffins. So my friend, appearances can be misleading. Stunned by this revelation, the crow and swan returned to the monk. The swan now yearned for a chance to be someone else. And this time, he wished to become a parrot. Oh, the vibrant green and red feathers of a parrot. What a splendid combination. People would love to have me as their pet, and I could even talk. Make me a parrot, please, the swan exclaimed. The monk agreed once again, but before granting the wish, he wanted the swan and the crow to meet an actual parrot. Together they ventured into the jungle in search of a parrot. It took them quite a while, but they eventually found one. Overwhelmed by the parrot's beauty, the crow and swan praised the parrot's colorful plumage. Wow, you are simply breathtaking. People must adore you. Your life must be full of joy, they exclaimed. But guess what? The parrot wasn't as thrilled as they assumed. Who told you I'm happy? The parrot replied. The crow and swan were dumbfounded. Wait, you're not happy? But you have all these marvelous colors. The parrot shared the truth. The problem lies in my color. Sure, green is beautiful, but it's also the color of the jungle and trees. You see, you were searching for me for so long, but my color helped me blend in. So my friends, colors can bring their own set of challenges. With heavy hearts, the trio returned to the monk. At this point, they were desperate to know the secret to true happiness. The monk asked them, Okay, if not the swan or the parrot, who do you think is the happiest creature in the world? The parrot and swan looked at the crow and said, It's you! You are the happiest animal in the world! Shocked, the crow questioned how it could be happy. 
the swan and parrot explained. Have you ever heard of a chicken burger or a chicken sandwich? The crow nodded, recognizing the popular food items. But have you ever heard of a crow burger or a crow sandwich? The crow shook its head. Exactly. Nobody sells crow feathers or crow meat. You don't have any enemies or dangers lurking around. You live a peaceful life, my friend. So in reality, you are the happiest creature in the world. Feeling enlightened, the crow realized that he had been comparing himself unnecessarily. He understood that true happiness comes from within and that he should never measure his worth based on others' opinions or appearances. Each one of us is unique, and that's what makes us special. So remember, never compare yourself to others because no one can compare themselves to you. You are extraordinary just the way you are. Thanks for watching. If this story has touched you and made you ponder what truly brings happiness into your life, make sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your loved ones. Until next time, keep shining.